What's up, guys? Neil Orfe here, taking a look at some of the best MLB prize picks plays currently available. I'm going to be taking a look uh, in the Odd Shopper tools to find those best bets. While you're coming in, please do like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit the notification button so you can get alerts when our shows go live. Of course, we still have some great offers going for you. First of all, if you have not yet signed up for prize picks and it is available in your state, which it is in a majority of states, I believe, check out our offer. Uh, use the link in the description of this video. You can get one free month of Stochastic Plus Platinum and up to a $100 deposit match bonus with prize picks when you sign up, which means you put $100 in, they're going to match that $100. If you just want to put 20 bucks in, they'll match that 20 bucks. Whatever you put in up to $100, prize picks is going to match that first deposit and of course you're also going to get that free month of stochastic plus platinum which is very valuable as well in its own right so check it out if you haven't already use the link in the description of this video I'm not sure if you guys can hear my dog going crazy outside right now i'm not sure what's going on outside my door hopefully that's not very loud for you guys uh, we also still have this odd shopper pick them deal going on right now it's what you see on the screen right now the price picks parlay builder included in this deal it is generally $44.95 per month or $13.95 per week, but you can get it for 70% off currently if you click the link in the description of this video. Fantastic deal. It's going to give you the best bets currently available. That is, of course, what we're looking at right now. But as these bets change throughout the day, new bets, you know, the bets come and go throughout the day. This, this is The tool is also going to uh, update with those new picks, show you the new EV, the best bets available all times a day. So fantastic deal. Check it out if you haven't already. Currently, what we have available here, the best picks uh, you can see here on the left, and we have a positive six percent expected positive EV over the long run. If you play these uh, pl plus EV bets over the long run, you're going to make some money. Uh, and these, we have six bets that look good right away here. Pete Alonso under 1.5 total bases, our best bet of the day currently. Uh, then we have Billy McKinney under 1.5 total bases. George Springer under 1.5 total basis so a lot of under total basis props looking the best for us at the moment then we've got zach gallon total pitching outs over 17.5 also has a 55 percent chance of winning those top four which you know it's good good to have four bets that all have a 55 percent chance of winning some nice ones there and then dj lemayhew under 1.5 total basis 54 percent chance of winning cj crone under 1.5 total basis so six these are top six bets and then just marginally behind them we have Freddie Peralta under 4.5 total. So I'll just throw in a few more out there in case uh, you're wanting to make multiple cards. I'm going to show you all the all the best picks that I can find. Freddie Peralta under 4.5 total hits allowed. Uh, Matt McClain under 1.5 hits plus runs plus RBI also has a 54% win percentage. That's generally where I where I kind of draw the line. I don't go below 54%. Probably not going down to these Alex Cobb and. Spencer Strider bets. I'm staying sticking with uh, the the 54% or better kind of bets are generally where I try to stay. One more that I like uh, that is not covered in the tool because they there's no books uh, doing fantasy score. I kind of like taking the under on 42.5 pitcher fantasy score for Pablo Lopez. Hate to say it, I am a Twins fan. It's a great matchup with Oakland. Don't feel you know super strongly about it, but they use FanDuel scoring on prize picks. And I just take a look at our projections to kind of see what stands out here. We've got Pablo Lopez projected for under 36 and a half fantasy points. Now, of course, there's a lot of volatility in these scores, but I would expect that Freddie uh, Pablo Lopez, sorry, is going to get the under on 42 and a half fantasy points more often than not. So despite the great matchup and how much I love Pablo Lopez, I think I like taking the under on 42 and a half pitcher fantasy score as well. Still, I think that the first card that I would make is probably just this exact one that we have here. These six picks, I think they're going to be the best on the board. But if you want to throw in a few more on top of these six, you know, kind of mix and match different bets, I think you can throw in this Freddie Peralta, Matt McLean, and then also uh, this Pablo Lopez under, I think, are the ones that I'd be most inclined to go to today. None of these other pitcher fantasy scores really stood out to me uh, as being, you know, far off from the line. We have Spencer Strider projected right around the uh, 46 and a half fantasy score as well. So I think it's just that Pablo Lopez one, probably the only one that I would take advantage of uh, from a pitcher fantasy score perspective. Anyway, that is going to do it for 
this video. I'll read off again my six favorite bets on the day. If you're just making one card, you want to do uh, six bets, I would do Pete Alonzo under 1.5 total bases, Billy McKinney under 1.5 total bases, George Springer under 1.5 total bases, Zach Gallon over 17.5 total pitching outs, DJ LeMahieu under 1.5 total bases, and CJ Krohn under 1.5 total bases. Uh, that's the bet that I am planning on making today. Hopefully you uh, you can tell me if you feel like it, and hopefully if you do, we win some money. Otherwise, hopefully uh, some of the other picks that I threw in there you'll find useful as well. Thanks for watching, guys, and good